This is a, a four-bedroom bungalow in Melton Keynes. The house was originally built in 1981 for the Milton Keynes Homeworld exhibition. It was to show off uh, various uh, concepts in uh, energy efficient housing. The energy efficiency of the house was uh, boosted by good insulation in the walls and air tightness. The air tightness was obviously has to have some ventilation. This particular uh, vent ventilation system actually has heat recovery built into it. The idea being that all the hot humid areas, hot air is drawn from there into a heat exchanger and then passed out as fresh air, fresh warm air into here. The property has got underfloor heating. One of the advantages of this is that because you don't have any radiators, you can put furniture wherever you like um, in the room. You also get a nice even heat um, throughout the uh, throughout the room, unlike radiators where you tend to get hot spots and, um, and colder spots. The underfloor heating, um, originally as installed, um, the whole bungalow was in one zone. That was quite inefficient. We've actually separated the, the zones into three separate zones. Because underfloor heating uses uh, a lower temperature to actually heat it than say radiators and the uh, it's split up into different zones and it is far more efficient we actually got away with using a smaller boiler this is only a 17 kilowatt the house itself um, is orientated uh, south facing the timber windows are quite large so that it will uh, benefit from uh, the solar gain uh, these larger windows are actually triple glazed as opposed to the uh, ones to the bedrooms are actually smaller and double glazed. Although this was actually built in 1981, uh, the standard of building of this house then could actually pass building regulations today. What we have done is to actually put solar thermal and solar PV panels on the outside on the roof so that we can benefit from uh, solar gain in that way, selling electricity back onto the grid and in fact reusing the um, solar thermal to heat our hot water. One of the features of solar energy is that one can use what one is generating for free. This therefore makes you think about how and when you use electricity. So for example, I ever since we've had solar panels, I now only put the washing machine on if it's a sunny day and I can see that I am generating electricity. Lighting, LED lighting. As you can see here, we've been experimenting um, with uh, different types of uh, uh, LEDs. Uh, the ones towards the centre are the more traditional ones. These are second generation OLED. They are expensive, but obviously if you use them a lot, you're actually going to save money in the long run. People don't um, associate water with energy, Correct. but it costs energy to get water to you and out of your tap. So if the amount of water that's coming out of your tap is less because you've got aerated taps, um, it's costing less energy and therefore um, carbon in the environment than yeah. it would otherwise. We think it's very useful for people to visit homes um, which have features like this. This can dispel um, myths and concerns about the um, modern types of technology um, and it also means that people can see um, that, that one can get um, financial returns as well as um, environmental returns.